What's up you guys, Flambo here. We're here in a slaughterhouse area in Stockholm, Sweden. Today we're going to do an artist shoot, uh, a portrait shoot with uh, this camera and uh, our beautiful model of the day and talent, uh, Petra Vira. You're from Seattle, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he's from Seattle and have lived in Stockholm for about three and a half years. Can you tell us something in Swedish? Uh, can I just say, you can say anything in Svenska, but that is hemskt. Yeah, sin. Yeah, hemskt sin. Gillar du mamma köttbullar? Ja, absolut. Vem gillar ju inte mamma köttbullar? He's now officially Swedish. Okay. <laughs> I chose this location because it's got this crazy thing going on with the roof. It's like a big softbox that um, it's gonna do some really cool light, a really cool light situation. And I'm gonna use this camera today. It's a medium format. Um, I have it loaded with a Portra 400, um, which is like a pretty standard film. Uh, ISO 400 with uh, this kind of camera. Don't forget one of very, thing I forget all the time is to it comes with a safety um, thing like a what do you call this plate mm -hmm. it comes with a safety plate that you put in like this it's to uh, protect the film if you have several of these uh, uh, several magazines you can simply put this in and uh, change the magazine I only have one magazine today so uh, I don't really need this but before you shoot, take this one out and you're good to go. Okay, so uh, when you shoot uh, medium format, you have to adjust. It's an analog camera, so you will adjust the ISO uh, like this. Come here. You can see on this side, on this side, you can adjust the ISO. I will bump it up to 400 since this is a Porta 400 roll. As you can see there, now it's on 400. So this is a light meter. I will use it on the model or the artist in this case, which is Brandon. And uh, I will just go in front of him. see here I get the value on my light meter I put it on ISO 400 as you can see here and uh, then I get the, val the f-stop value which is 5.62 in this and I have the shutter on 125 uh, which is my regular shutter and uh, yeah when you measure that you can go with the shooting As you can see, uh, if you look into the light meter, I can show you. When you shoot with the medium format, this then you have this kind of thing. You just pull it up, and then you're good to go. And uh, this is the back piece where it, uh, the the film roll is contained, and uh, this is where you roll up the film this handle and yeah that's pretty much it let's shoot we're gonna take one shot uh, further down so we get more of an aerial shot
model uh, or artist or talent uh, assist you like you can if you do headshots like him holding this won't affect the shot at all so don't be afraid to let your uh, talent uh, assist you in that Another thing, a good thing to know about these cameras, it's like it's a mirror in there, and as you know, a mirror makes the image uh, reversed. That was what I was not thinking about there, because I I thought the <coughs> light is going to be on this side, but it was on the opposite. It took me a while to recognize. <laughs> I chose this location because I love these kind of uh, uh, roof roof uh, windows. They're so nice, like the light is so soft when it comes in. I also like when it's like openings in like warehouses because it lets in all this like really cinematic light. I've seen all over Instagram like these kind of spots are the best spots when you want, want to do something in that fashion. And yeah, we did some portraits in the back alley to the warehouse we were shooting in. We found a truck and we did some uh, double exposure through the window. When you do double exposures, you really want some uh, back room to... You really want some space so you can like move around and things. Because it was pretty crowded there. I also shot some digitals. And here you can see like when I shoot digital I can get all this variation. Um, don't have to worry about film or expenses or and you can adjust settings very quickly But I don't bash an analog photography at all. Like it's just a different th way of thinking and a different strategy. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching and. Uh, what do you think, Brandon? Did it go I think well? It went well, yeah. Went well. That was fun. You will see the picture soon, and uh, go follow Petra Vida. Super cool artist. There's a lot of uh, poetry and rap. Uh, till next time. Thank you.